when I was a graduate student, I'd go into the libraries and I would just find it calming. It was just the smell, you're surrounded by the books, it was just like, right, this is fine, I can work with this. And so I, I really love working with libraries and working in libraries. I love libraries because of the books. I love books, uh, not the concept of the, not just the concept of being there, but uh, the, the, the object, the, the feeling of having this, uh, this object on my hands and going through the pages. Something on the printed page triggers my imagination. I think the libraries are often uh, referred to as the heart of, of the university, um, as any university is uh, the core mission is for higher learning. And I think of, um, imagine a restaurant without a kitchen or a hospital without operating rooms. That's how I view you know, any university without a library. I took a course with a professor who's unfortunately now deceased, but he left an impact on me both from the library perspective, from the research perspective. He incorporated his learning to make sure that we were accessing uh, materials that were original materials. So it meant going into some of the reserves and private uh, reserves here. I remember realizing uh, at that point how helpful libraries can be and how precious the resources are in some cases, uh, but it really had a lasting impact on me. The academic librarian for my program, Bruce Fife, I've actually communicated with him many times online. It's a wonderful service that Western Libraries offers and uh, I'm able to chat with him online, I'm able to email him. He does always, always get back to me. And so even though I'm not physically in the library, I still have a very good working relationship and rapport in a virtual space of Western libraries. And I still have yet to shake hands with the academic librarian for my program who's helped me so much. So I see that the now more and more international students come to the university and they come to the library. I can feel they are so nervous about it because first of all, they don't know the answer. Secondly, they don't know how to ask a question. Obviously, in their inside, they're probably afraid of people laughing at them. I just want those young people, they can get, you know, same good services and the same good environment to, to help them have a good future. That's just every day. I, I feel that, that that's my duty. I have studied here around the clock at times and I think of Western Library specifically here at Weldon to be like a second home at times because I see more of it than my regular home. Uh, I have my little blanket, I, I sit here with my studies, uh, with my books and you know when I need to sleep I put my head down and it, it, it really, I think the uh, importance of the library system becomes very, very much visible to any student around exam time. I think students do feel that it, that it is their home. Um, it's, a, it's a comfortable place, and it is a place of community, and it's also a place of enrichment, um, and certainly um, I think their parents would be happy to think that <laughs> they think of this as their home, so a nice safe place for them. My strongest memories of the library are when we would always go back and rent those personal study rooms and have a group of six of us just going over a topic, sharing with each other and being able to, to work together towards that goal of learning instead of, instead of being competitive, I guess, in the way a, a traditional setting might have where you're always by yourself, you're always working towards your own success, where the community that's inspired by sort of a library space where your learning is really applied to the people around you as well as yourself. Every time I do a research project, I always start by saying, I'll, this is the first one I'll never be able to answer. And then I come to Western, and sure enough, one always finds something. And every time I do a, a report on a historical building or a bridge or um, some other feature, 
it is a bit like a detective novel, put, pulling together from documentary sources and then going out into the field and verifying them, looking for the clues. The, um, it, it's, I, I think every time I do one of these studies, it's, it's a mystery story. It's, it's a, a detective story, it's a research story, it's a, a human story, you learn something more about people, and um, it starts here at Western.